Well, Pisces, there's a couple themes here. For starters, for starters, in your recent past, you have the Six of Cups, which is a cop, which is a uh, card of looking back at good times and fun times, a harmonious times with wonderful people and just looking back and reminiscing of a time when you were really happy. So you're bringing this energy from March. Now that doesn't mean that uh, in March you were happy and you're only looking back to March. This means that coming into April and uh, coming into April, you're really reminiscing about the past. And this could be in any time frame. You're just coming into April, looking back at times when you were really happy and excited and content and just feeling fulfilled. And you're bringing that energy into April. Now, what you have as the under as the as the main theme and tone of your reading is the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands is a card of uh, a lot of thought. Um, it's somebody that is really feels like he feels like he has the world in his hands, and he does, but he almost feels a little bit like he's missing something um but it can mean and since this is a love reading i am going to say this but don't get discouraged but it can mean that there may be no marriage possible so you're reminiscing about something or or even just thinking about your current situation and realizing that it's just not maybe for you okay and, or they could, be, be, since this is a, uh, these are wands, this could be a fire sign and they could be, uh, or someone with fiery energy, they could be looking at the situation saying, that is not going to work, or, or I'm glad that didn't work. But it's affecting you because this is kind of the foundation of your reading. Um, but it is all, so that's one meaning of, re, what meaning of the card, but it is also a card of fortune and magnificence and uh, so this this man is standing up on his at the top of his castle, overlooking the valley and the water, and he has his his uh, the world is in his hands. So he's very successful, and you could be viewing the other person as being very successful too, and kind of reminiscing about it a little bit. But um, and it can also be it can it can also be a card of sadness, and. Uh, not loss, but sadness because this person has created all this, but there's they're still wanting more. So if this is you uh, or the, or a fire sign that's in your periphery, uh, or this I don't feel like this is somebody else. I feel like this is you and your thoughts about a current situation. So you're coming in with lots of um, happy memories. and then you're thinking, but I'm kind of sad. I I, uh, I have all of these wonderful experiences and I've built this great life for myself, but there's definitely something missing or, or I miss somebody. So he's kind of looking back into the past and reminiscing. Okay. Now what's crossing that card is the Knight of Cups. So this is also definitely, this is definitely you and this is definitely you. Um, I think this two of wands is kind of an underlying thought and energy and the knight of cups is it's the it's pay uh i keep thinking pages but it's a messenger card um something it, he's bringing something okay so something's approaching something's arriving into your your life or you're bringing something there's a proposition so somebody really could be coming and offering love to you or you could be really offering love to somebody else. You might be offering love to someone that you're reminiscing about. And if you're currently with somebody, you might be thinking, I was happier with somebody else. Or this is, you know, you're going to be communicating in some way and offering your love to somebody in, in some way in April. Because you're reminiscing of good times. You're kind of uh, at, a, at a standstill right now with your thoughts. And, but you have a lot to give and you want to give your love and you, you want to offer it to somebody. So this is a messenger card. 
Now, what's what the underlying tone of this reading is, is the Queen of Swords. And this is a very, it's an air energy. She's up in the sky. There's angels and butterflies all over. There's clouds. She's definitely high. She's above the trees. Um, but it's a very stoic energy. She's sad. Uh, there may have been a miscarriage. And I say she, but it could be, I, this is just the underlying energy. So there's been a loss of some sort and, and you're sad about it. They may be sad too, but since this is the underlying tone, I really feel like you are having memories and you're sad about a situation and you don't know what to do. Um, so you're just, you're just saying, I have a lot to offer. What's, what, what's going on? Okay. Now what's crowning this, what's crowning the situation is the six of pentacles. This is a card of decisions. This is a card of choosing one over the other. She is telling me that it is time to eat. Okay. Now this is a card of giving and choices and gratification. Um, and it's a very grounded energy and it's almost like you are kind of evening the playing field. So, and I mean, I say you, but the playing field is being evened, whether it be somebody doing it or just the, the circumstances surrounding it are just going to happen and uh, the playing field is just going to be kind of e evened out. So there may be gifts you're definitely offering. You're going to feel gratified and happy uh, with what's going on. So I think you are happy. Uh, there's just kind of this moment of reflection uh, that's going to be coming into April. And in your near future, you have the Five of Wands. And this is a card. This is, I call this kind of the argument card, but not major arguments. It's almost like you're testing each other. Um, by seeing how far you can push it. So you're you're pushing somebody's limits or they're pushing your limits to see how far you will go to kind of test, to test, you're testing each other's uh, commitment almost. And, and if you're not with anybody or you want to be with somebody, you're kind of looking back and saying, oh, maybe they were just testing uh, the situation a little bit. So this is your near future. There's going to be, I don't like to use the word fighting, but um, that's always the word. I mean, look at it. They're battling, but they're also having fun. They're out in the prairie. They're out in the field. It's like they're kind of sp spoofing, you know, like an imitation fight. So uh, it, it, it can also be a card of fighting for money and success. So you could be really focusing on work and working really hard to get to the next level in your career. That could very well be. You may be putting love on the back burner right now in April, and you're just going to be focusing on putting all your energy into doing what needs to be done at work and searching in, in order to attain the next level of your career. Now, what's underlying how you feel about the situation is the page of pentacles or the ace of pentacles and pentacles are earth energy, but all aces are a sign of new beginnings and fresh starts. Okay. We have this angelic energy, the spiritual energy coming in from the skies and offering something. Okay. You're happy. You're content. Um, there's, you're just content with the situation. You're very smart and you know what's going on. And I think you're just going to be focusing on work. I really think you're focusing on work, even though this is not a work card, but it's a card of fighting and searching for uh, success and attainment. And I think that that's really where your focus is. You're going to be kind of reminiscing about good times. And in order to, and, and now that I say that, I'm looking at kind of evening the playing field. I think this is going to be a, card for you of you have a lot of of love to offer and a lot of love to give um there's a little sadness but you, in order to 
get your mind off of that to even the playing field. You're just going to focus on what you're doing. You're going to be very giving and very generous when it's needed from you, but you're going to be focusing on reaching the next your goals and reaching the next level. Yes. And you're perfectly and you're perfectly content doing that. Now, that's not to say that someone isn't going to come into the picture or that someone's not there. You could just be stepping away from something for a minute and thinking you could be wanting to see if they come back around. And in the meantime, you're just going to be doing your thing. Now, how they're viewing the situation, because it seems like there's somebody in the periphery for you, somebody important. And if you're in a committed bond, it almost seems like you're doing your Pisces thing where you just need your downtime to kind of collect all your energies and collect your thoughts before proceeding. And not even proceeding to a next level, commitment level in a relationship, just before proceeding in general. I mean, you're still gonna maybe, if you're in a commitment with somebody, you're still gonna be going out to eat, you're still gonna be going on dates, but there's no advancement. You're just going to, uh, you know, during the day and maybe on the weekends, kind of keep, keep, stay low, do your thing, watch TV, relax, and just kind of hone in your energy like you need to. Pisces, Pisces, uh, they're so giving and they're so loving and so full of emotion that they need their downtime. And, uh, and you know that, and that could very well be what you're doing. So in the meantime, you're just going to be kind of going through the motions and collecting all of your thoughts, but it's okay. Nothing's wrong. You're just content doing that. Okay. Now how they're viewing the situation. And the thing is with Pisces, they need a lot of more downtime than people realize, I think. And so there's this person. So if someone is in the periphery and this could be a water sign, I don't know, but if they are, there's a lot of merriment. There's social times, there's out with friends, uh, meeting people and you're just out having oops sorry you're just out having a good time that's how they're viewing the situation so maybe part of your downtime and kind of reconnecting is uh to just you're 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 still you're not pushing anybody away you're just gonna go through the motions you're gonna have a good time with them and they they like that that's how they see it but internally internally you're doing this internally you're doing this and internally in your mind you've decided to do this Okay, but it's clearly not affecting them. They're so busy doing their thing that it's clearly not affecting them. And you guys are going to have a good time. And you're perfectly content with that. Now in your hopes and fears position, you've got the Ten of Swords. And clearly, uh, you know, nobody likes to get this card. It's the card of feeling like you've been stabbed in the back. And I think uh, you're taking this energy with you from the past. And you're really afraid to maybe really commit and move forward with somebody, whomever it is, because you don't want to get hurt again. And uh, he's laying, I mean, you're Pisces, you're a water sign. He's laying right next to a lake and he's just <laughs> stabbed in the back and not moving. And so you're probably very afraid of taking anything very seriously at this point. You're just focusing on yourself and reminiscing about the past and uh, that's okay because when you do that, you don't do it for very long. You, you're very resilient. You bounce back and you, you definitely are a sign. You know how to take, of a, take care of others, but even more so than that, you know how to take care of yourself. So you may be doing the push-pull thing where I, I know I should do this, but I'm going to be doing this. And I'm, now I'm just going to change my mind and I'm really going to just focus on myself. And that's okay. This is just a hope. This is just a fear. Definitely not a hope. This is just your fear. Now, in the final outcome position, you have the three of wands. And this, there's so many interpretations to this card and they all kind of really mean, uh, they all kind of really mean the same thing. And it's really a card of, uh, enterprise and overlooking and, and, turning your back on something and moving forward, but more so in the light of, in the essence of discovering something, okay? And uh, in commerce. So I really feel in a love reading, you know, now in, in a general reading, this would be he's working hard at his skill and their trade, and he's firmly, he's 
feet are firmly planted on the ground, his rods are, his wands are firmly planted in the earth, and they're growing because their uh, wands are a symbol of growth and newness and freshness. And so that's in a general reading. But in the love reading, I'm, I think what you're really doing this month is focusing on work and focusing on yourself. You're developing yourself. You're working on your skills. You're working on your trades. And there's going to be people around. There's definitely going to be people around and you're offering yourself to them. But there's this underlying tone of solitude and in, 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 uh, not wanting to be involved with somebody very heavily. Now, if you're in a new relationship, this could scare people away, but it's okay because you have a way of still keeping them into the relationship, but you're still focusing on yourself. And, uh, you know, you just might need to give it a little bit more time before you de do decide to fully commit. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. Let's look at the Oracle cards and see what advice and messages, message that they can offer you for April, Pisces. Spirit and Universe, what advice and mess, any additional message that you can offer for Pisces in their love life in April? I also see sometimes this is somebody that might be going on a journey. Not a spiritual journey, but actually for for work and, uh, you know, kind of discovering new lands. Turning their back on where they have been and looking forward to where they're going. In life and in work. So it's not like you're turning your back on love or a partner. You're just focusing on the change and development that's happening uh, in your world. And again, Pisces, uh, this could be somebody, so this could be, uh, the, a fiery energy or a fire sign that is turning their back and focusing on their work. This might not be you. This might be the outcome of this situation is, um, this person is deciding to focus on work, not you. Um, um, but whatever it is, there's a focus around this reading. There's a whole focus of, um, focusing on yourself, whether it be you or the other person. If there's somebody in your periphery, if you're in a new relationship, there's a focus of kind of turning away from the a relationship so much and not focusing on that and focusing on yourself and focusing on work and, and everybody involved is okay with that. It's not, it's not like someone feels left out or someone feels like they're being left behind. Everyone's just, all right. The Oracle uh, I, card I pulled was the singer of transformation, which goes right along with this reading. I'm going to read what the Oracle book says, but clearly you're going through a transformative process and looking internally, um, at, at your situation. Not transformation, transfiguration, sorry. Um, so the singer of transfiguration is transformation, transcendence, and metamorphosis. It says, jackpot, this card in a reading signifies the joy of success after a time of struggle. A new way of life has been accepted and is being integrated. A sense of inner peace is growing. The struggle has all been worth it. This is a time of consolidation and joy and is both a reward for past achievements and a time of preparation for the next climb up the path. So I think that really uh, speaks for itself uh, because you clearly are in, in thought, you're looking at back at your past, you have a lot to offer, Pisces. Uh, you do, there, there's some fear of being hurt. You're very afraid of being hurt again. And uh, that's never fun for anybody to go through, but there's always a sense of, a, not a sense of, there's always so much growth that comes from that and looking internally and doing what you can do to better yourself. And that's really what you're doing. Um, the good news is you're, you're focusing on work and you're out being social and you're uh, 
you know, there's just a little fear of being hurt again. And, but it's definitely a time of transformation for you. 